So good morning everyone. So today let's have another new discussion regarding in research. So let's start. And for this, we, before we start, let's take uh, let's have this this kind of question. So whenever we buy our cell phone or other devices, we tend we tend to look for for the features. Uh, we have our target when we, when it comes to the megapixel, how clear the camera is, the the storage or the memory so we have our target or we have our focus of what to buy specifically what to buy and it is similar in research so in research we have to be specific that's why in research you have uh, scope and delimitation of the study when we say the scope of the study, it is the it sets your focus. Who will be your respondent? Uh, where and when you collect the data? And of course, it will uh, discuss your objective, what you are going to do in the study. And when we say the limitation, it is something uh, something like the, the boundary the limit of your study and don't be confused when we have the term of limitation and the limitation because when we say the limitation it is the boundary just like what i mentioned it will show or it will discuss where you should end in conducting the study to what extent what is your end point the dead end of your study and when we say the limitation it is something like what is the weakness or what are the weaknesses of your study it gives your weak points it provides the weak points of your study so don't be confused everyone and when we write our scope and delimitation we of course we provide different elements and let's see what are those So, what now everyone? Uh, I hope that you learned something and, and I hope you still remember while you write your research, the part of your research. So, thank you and see you next meeting. Goodbye.